I'm glad that this is the maiden voyage of the logo. Um, yeah. for, so, for example, this is an icon, right? Does this guy look particularly like Father Roger? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> but you look at that and you immediately go, oh, that's like a priest. Right, like that's a universal symbol mm -hmm. of a priest, right? So that's the power of, I think, like a meme or a symbol. Universal or an symbol icon. of the priest, yes. Yeah, like it, like the. <laughs> <laughs> Catholics have a long history of like coming up with like everyday things, or sanctifying everyday things, or changing everyday things, and what I love in studying history is finding the Catholic connections to all these like kind of mundane things. And some of them are maybe more useful to know about than others. Okay. So for example, it's like how Oreos, the guy who designed uh, Oreos was a Catholic and that's why was they he? look like the Knights Yep. Mm -hmm. And that's why they look like the Knights Templar symbol. This almost seems like, you know, Illuminati, like Saint yeah, Illuminati. I looked, no, and this is why I looked it up. I wanted to know if it was a Freemason. No, it, it was a Catholic guy hmm. and his son is confirmed, yeah, his dad was Catholic. And okay. it seems like he must have based it on the Knights Templar symbol, right? With the cross, with the kind of the two bars or whatever, and the orb underneath. And so again, I would like to think when I eat an Oreo, I like to look at that and think, like, this is an effect of the Knights Templar, right? Like, there's something Catholic that's permeated into everything, which I love about our faith, yeah. is that it's so simple, it's got so many symbols, it's got so many names, that it's got its own kind of culture, and it lingers long after it's done. Another would be like um, Jägermeister, right? The logo mm. for Jägermeister is the symbol of um, St. Hubert, right? Who was, uh, he, he was out hunting a stag, and apparently on Easter Sunday, he was skipping church, and he had a vision of the cross, like hanging in between the antlers of this uh, stag or whatever, and that led him to convert. And as a result, that became the symbol of the master of the hunt, the Jaeger Meister. Okay. So, you know, the, the drink they made for them had that symbol on it as well. So now, and if you go into any sports bar, you can't help but see the symbol that's basically reminding you, hey, you should go to church. <laughs> like hanging on the wall or whatever, or so, looking at, on one of the, the tabs or whatever. So Jägermeister not only gives you spiritual guilt, it also gives you, you know, gastrointestinal it, guilt after a while it, too. There's, if you're not fully ashamed <laughs> after having Jägermeister, it hasn't accomplished its telos. I think that's fair to say. That's really part of Catholic tradition, because I mean, you look at the church fathers, everyone sees symbols everywhere. Uh -huh. Like, returning to the memes, there's the meme of, you know, Illuminati sort of seeing everything, you know? The church fathers are exactly that same thing. <laughs> they see Christ in every aspect of life. You know, you're walking down the street, well, that's a mirror for Christ. That's an image that, you know, of your sanctification. Tiny brain, oh, that's just a tree. <laughs> like, larger brain, it's like, hmm, this tree is created by God, and it's therefore good. And, like, the galaxy brain is like, it's a symbol of the cross. <laughs> So this is where memes like really have to be sanctified. Oh, exactly, right? And yeah. memes are everywhere. They're mm -hmm. mushrooms. They're they're everywhere. There's not a place, except for the Antarctic, that doesn't have some kind of little you know permeating being. I just have this vision of like some Michael Crichton <laughs> character like, bundled up in like this really heavy jacket, and he's like monitoring like radiation from a meteorite. I just like checking his phone a bit. <laughs> Lol, <cat. laughs> they never get old. And then going back to like monitoring. I, I, I bet I could challenge you on this. So what's a, what would be a good Catholic meme? Like if you were going to invent a meme, because it seems like it's, it's like a monthly thing. Like this last month it was. Um, Senior and junior arguing. True. And yeah. Junior throws the chair. Gonna <laughs> 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 like vines are like, like something that the devil invented to mock <laughs> Hollis. Because you know they're I mean? six like seconds. Hollis, yeah, you've got to have like a seven-minute homily, right? That's how long people's attention span is. But you got to get as much content out of that as you can. You got to, you know, work from the text. You got to connect to people where they're at. And it's like vines are like, nope. Here's seven seconds of a guy falling down, <laughs> and we've got people's attention. Cam, there's a cockroach right there. Cam, here. I'm joking. I'm joking. You need Jesus. It's it's like the the forbidden fruit or whatever. Like this is more fun, right? <laughs> Surely, surely you shall not die. Surely you shall not die if you eat off the vine. If you, because they <laughs> cure your depression. Yes. Exactly, yes. Do you think you can have sacred vines? Like, can, is there any way you can fit that much, like, like something really sacred into, like, a seven-second seven thing? Or no is that, way. Okay. No way, because, I mean, you go to any art museum, you are not going to spend seven seconds looking at a piece of art and saying, okay, next one. You know, you can. Your trip's going to be 15 minutes tops. Mm. Like, you need to sometimes spend and just stare at something that's beautiful, mm -hmm. right? 
you look at it, you try to like make sense. You can't do that in seven seconds on a yeah. line. You can laugh, but uh, it's a cheap laugh. That's what it is. We were at Dunkin' Donuts last night. Yeah, and, and then we ran in. That didn't make... happen yet. We, we yelled first. No, then... but then the guy. I'm then... telling the story! Speaking of weird Catholic origins and stuff, so Andy Warhol, yeah. not, not widely known, but he was an Eastern Rite Catholic who actually went to church every really? day. Really? Yes. He was a celibate Catholic. Um, and some of his art is actually more religious, but you can kind of read some of his artwork that he made as like almost a commentary on the modern world. So if, if you look at photographs of the church he went to, it's, it's, it's an Eastern Catholic church, so it's covered with icons, right? It's like mm -hmm. vibrant with color and everything. And that's interesting because you can kind of see his art, like the Marilyn Monroe thing, is kind of like, or the, the Campbell soup, mm -hmm. right? Like these are the new icons. And it's almost like he's challenging you, like how good are these? Because he made the one movie called Empire, mm -hmm. which is an eight hour shot of the Empire State Building and like nothing else. And you think, well, what's the point of that? And you go, well, could you stand in the Hagia Sophia for eight hours? Probably you could. Yeah. You could probably take a whole day at like St. Peter's Basilica. You could probably stare at the roof of the Sistine Chapel for eight hours yeah. and not be done. But the Empire State Building, which is supposed to be the symbol of progress and like modernity and how great we are, how many, how many minutes can you just stare at that thing? And I feel like that was what Warhol was getting at. Huh. Um, of course, Warhol also said we'll all be famous for 15 minutes in the future, right? So, <laughs> this speaking is of social true. media, right? Exactly. Like, and I'm, like, so Alfred Hitchcock, I know, he was a Roman Catholic, and mm. he actually instructed uh, Janet Leigh uh, in the shower scene of uh, Psycho. Mm -hmm. He said, you have to think of this as a baptism. Uh, because, spoilers if you have not seen Psycho. Um, so she's just committed a crime at the beginning of the movie, and she feels guilty about it, and mm -hmm. she's actually about to repent. Like, she's... She, She's gonna go back and go to the police, and that's when she takes a shower and gets killed. And Hitchcock told her, like, think of this as a baptism, like you're washing your sins away. <laughs> so you can read this as almost like a very Catholic scene, right? It's got Catholic imagery, sacramental imagery, that you might not notice if you're not Catholic, but... And I love finding stuff like hmm. that. To me, that. To me, that's part of, like, what an effective new evangelization would be like. It's connecting with people and saying, you know this thing you like? It actually belongs to Jesus. Lacrosse. You know, you know who named lacrosse? The game of lacrosse. Not Cardinal Lacroix. Uh, oh. <laughs> that'd, that'd be a great if that was the answer to every question. Like, <laughs> do you know who named hockey? Was it Archbishop of A? <laughs> Why, yes, Father Roger. You win this trip. <laughs> you win another round of Stella and uh, some Jaeger. It's a nice Catholic bar trivia night. No, it was uh, St. John de Berbeuf, hmm. actually. It was, uh, it was a game the Algonquin played with, like, sticks. And he thought the sticks kind of resembled a crozier, like a bishop's crozier. Okay, yeah. So he actually called it like le croix, like the croix, like it looks like the crozier or whatever. And that's where lacrosse comes from. So what prompted you to think about social media? Just the great spreading of weird conspiracy theories on social media. Oh. And I was thinking a little bit about the Flat Earth Society. And I think that's an episode all to itself. Uh -huh. I think it's almost this like hidden desire um, that people want to be special again, you mm. know? That the Earth is not just a single, you know, planet in the vast uh, infinitude of space and the universe. That, no, 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 we are the only flat planet. Uh -huh. uh, and, you know, there are other round planets, but we don't really care about that. And, uh -huh. you know, we can't go beyond our own space. We're special. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's, it's once more trying to go beyond that sense of humility that we've received over the centuries of, well, we're no longer, you know, the center. The sun is the center. Mm. Well, we're no longer alone in our solar system. We have, you know, stars having their own solar systems. We're no longer the center of attention. So mm. let's revert to that. Mm -hmm. And the fact that so many people, you know, so much so that there's going to be a conference in Edmonton mm -hmm. in the summer, want to have this as almost true. Do you feel like the Gnostics were the original conspiracy theorists? I think they were. Like, the Montanists were, like, wearing their, like, tinfoil hats and being like, no, man, there's a demiurge <laughs> behind it all. Like, <laughs> it's all a front. <laughs> you look, no, you... absolutely. That's, that's what they were, mm -hmm. right? Because it gives a, a feeling of power. Like, you have yeah. this secret that's not You have the secret knowledge that no one else has, yeah. Yeah, and to me, that's, like, there's a real failure to see... And this is what I was, I guess I'm trying to say. To see Christ in the ordinary things, right? Um, C.S. Lewis, I think, gets at this in, um, in the Prince Ca uh, no, it's the Voyage of the Dawn Treader, hmm. where Prince Caspian discovers 
that the, uh, the children are from around Earth. And he's so interested because Narnia is on a flat Earth. And he says, well, what is it like on a, on a ball, like living on a ball? Like, do people fall off? And they say, well, no, I mean, like, no, it's not like that. And they actually say to him, like, why are you so interested? And he says, well, I've, like, I've never heard of, I've never imagined what it's like to live on a round earth. And he's so, that's so magical to him. And they actually say, well, you know, when you live on a round earth, you don't think much of it. And that's, like, we just take that for granted so much, eh? Like, the fact that's such, if you think about it, that's like, incredible. We all live on a ball. Like, that's, a, that's not something to despair of, like that's, or, or to kind of talk poorly about. Mm-hmm. Like, that's something God created for us. Um, Chesterton talks about this, I, I love this quote with Chesterton. A traffic signal box sounds like the most boring thing. But if you think about it, if you explain what it is, it's we've set up a system where we light fires of sea green or blood red to keep our fellow man from dying. Like, that's what a traffic signal yep. is. And, and we just take this because we see it every day and, like, it's an inconvenience to us. We forget, like, what a cool, magical world we already live in. Absolutely. We go looking for these secrets to try to make the world more exciting. Like, well, actually, a demon <laughs> created it all. And there's seven <laughs> levels of knowledge. And actually, like, the Illuminati wants you to think it's a round earth because, like, that's what they would spend their time doing. <laughs> like, that's, like, that, again, like, there's a smoky room or whatever. And they're like, all right. We managed the Kennedy assassination. <laughs> the moon landing. And Jesus, what are we going to fool them about now? And it's like, you know what? Do you think we could make them think the earth is round? <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. Everything outside is flat. I, I bet we could think it was round if we really tried. Like, like that's what they're doing. Like, and that's the funny thing, too. Some, some people, some dear, well-meaning people, mm-hmm. they get really worried about, like, satanic symbols. Like, there was, a, yeah. again, a meme for a while um, that was talking about these satanic rosaries that had... Like, they looked like they were really Christian rosaries, but if you looked close, there were satanic symbols. Like, that's what the devil's concerned about, is, like, getting his trademark on stuff, right? Like, the devil's (laughs) concerned with souls. He's not concerned with marketing, right? He's not, like, (laughs) this isn't a Madison Avenue thing where he wants his brand (laughs) off. Or, or, you know, people who get really worried when they see, like, oh, this guy made, like, the devil horns or whatever. That means he's probably working for the devil. Like, Satan is, is, is interested in much bigger fish than that, right? But I, I think he loves that people are worrying about that. People try to find, uh, exactly as you were saying, you know, something more special than the ordinary. I mean, I, I saw a meme, speaking of memes, of, you know, how we've convinced a rock to think. You know, that, that, that's what a computer is, right? Mm-hmm. We have hit it enough times with a hammer in various shapes and forms, and we have made the rock think <laughs> for mm-hmm. us. Mm-hmm. adding some electricity, right? Mm-hmm. How wonderful is that, uh-huh. right? We're already living in a world of wonders. And as you discovered, as you mentioned uh, before, you know, it's for those who have eyes to see that you can see, you know, true beauty, true creation. I'm wondering what these people like. I feel like they should hold it in, I guess it's in the Fantasyland Hotel. <laughs> I feel like that's so silly, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, like, I wonder, like, how would people react if they saw you go into the, um, the Flat Earth Society? Would they assume you were one of them? Would they oh, like, I think... welcome, brother, <laughs> we're glad you're back? I can guarantee it would go viral. It would go viral. It would become a meme? <laughs> Within hours. Probably. I want to see that meme, like, you just looking, like, really uncomfortable <laughs> and calling your collars around about the Flat Earthers. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is the worst Inquisition ever. <laughs> Well, thanks for wasting time with us. If you like what you've seen, please like and subscribe and send us a comment and we'll see what we can talk about.